Yo, what's up? My name is Petrowski. We have a quick catch event to cover today. As you can tell by the art, it's going to be a Musharna slash Muna catch event. And there actually is an extremely cool shiny prize, in my opinion. A really, really underrated shiny. I recommend checking out if you haven't seen it. So, let's go ahead and get into the details of this event. This Musharna catching event is going to be starting on Saturday, the 11th of June, 2022, at 10 p.m. UTC, 7 p.m. BRT, or 6 p.m. ET, at the Dream Yard within Unova. I believe it's east of, I want to say, Castellia City. Uh, or like Nimbasa, I can actually check really quick, it's definitely not Castellia, I think it's Nimbasa, um, I believe, I'm kind of just double checking, no, excuse me, okay, Striation City, it is to the east of Striation City, I repeat, the Dream Yard will be to the east of Striation City, I checked in game really quick, now, you're going to have one hour to catch as many Muna and Purloin as possible, and then 10 minutes after that hour is up to submit one Pokemon, either your best catch or your worst catch. Now, the scoring is the typical total sum of IVs plus species bonus plus nature bonus. If you have any questions about anything, let me know in the comments down below. I know it can be confusing, especially if it's your first catch event, but usually once you've done one, everything falls into place. So, there are gonna there's gonna be a species bonus of plus five for Muna, which is really cool to see. A neutral bonus for Purloin makes sense. Nature bonuses a plus five for Bold and a plus three for Modest. Probably not worth bringing a synchronized Pokemon here, although it kind of ends up depending on how common you encounter these Pokemon. Pretty sure they're pretty common. Probably not worth the time sink to be switching from your synchronized Pokemon to your catching Pokemon. Now, I'm going to move on to the general rules for every catch event. These are the same for each one, so I'm going to try to blow through them pretty quickly and just read over them. But if you have any questions, if I don't cover anything in enough detail, let me know in the comments down below. So, to win first through third places that are sorted from highest to lowest, you need to submit an entry that scores the highest. To win fourth place, you you need to submit an entry that scores the lowest only. You can only submit one entry. Players can enter the event with only one account slash character. All Pokemon must be caught within the event time and at the event location. All Pokemon must remain unchanged, untrained, and unevolved. Evolved or unevolved forms of the listed Pokemon will not be accepted as a valid entry. You must be the OT of the Pokemon. You must link your entry to any participating staff member via Whisper during that 10 minute period to submit it. So the staff members for this event are going to be Deus, Bruno, Cosmuth, and Alex GGG. And during that 10 minute period after the event is over, you'll you'll always see them uh, in global chat saying, taking entries, you know, whisper me your entries. So it's pretty easy to right click their name and go ahead and whisper them. Uh, and then the final rule, in the event of a tie, the winner will, will be determined by earliest catch. So if two players both catch a 170 total score Pokemon, whoever caught it earlier will get that bump up in placements. This happens a lot and is a lot more prevalent than you would thing so make sure you're catching pokemon as fast as possible now on to the first place prize a gift shiny moon up beautiful shiny dude wickedly underrated shiny in my opinion i really really love this thing First place prize, Gift, Shiny Muna, your choice of nature, two moves, three selectable IVs, plus three times 28 in the other IVs. Probably end up going 31 HP, 31 special attack, and then 31, I don't know if defense or special defense is better on this thing. Probably defense, so you can go like bold, and then go uh, Calm Mind, so you can kind of get both those defenses boosted. Um, but I'm not the Musharna expert, although it's a really cool Pokemon. I played it a little bit in NU. Uh, plus a thousand reward points on top of it. If you're not interested in the shiny Muna, and then second place is going to get 500 reward points, and third and fourth place will both get 250 reward points, respectively, as per usual. If you guys have any questions about this, let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this and like being up to date with catch events and events like this in Pokemon, make sure to like the video and show them that you enjoy seeing stuff like this. Subscribe for future Pokemon content. I upload two pieces of Pokemon content every single day, whether it's a video in a stream or you know two videos or you know whatever it may be you can join the discord it links down below to say yo what's up meet some cool people join a team ask questions learn about the game a lot of cool stuff a lot of information in there uh you can also check out the playlist links down below if you want more content after this video is over and then finally if you want to support the channel going above and beyond you can become a youtube member for five bucks a month drop a twitch prime or a twitch sub over my twitch or hit up my patreon or my venmo or my paypal which are all links down below none of that's never needed but it does allow me to keep making content so thank you all so much have a great day i'll see you guys later good luck in the Bouchard catching event seriously